Hey, let's do another tetra meshing example. So what we're going to do today is we're going to import geometry and this step file will be available down below where you can import it like I'm doing here and follow along with me. So it's a drill bit that I use in another tutorial. I just thought it's a cool little model to work with. Okay. You have one component, the drill bit. I'm going to change its color to look like a brass drill bit, I guess. We're going to do that. Okay. If we go from this and we try to mesh it to 3D Tetra Mesh, if I do a volume Tetra and set the elements down to one, it won't work. I don't know why. It just won't work. It comes back, no result. So what I have to do is go to the original way with Tetra Mesh. And for that, I need elements on the surface. So let's go back to 2D. I'm going to do Auto Mesh. And we're going to do on the surfaces. We'll do Surfaces Displayed. There we go. And Element Size 1. And I'll just change them to Try As. And let's mesh it. Okay, that was fast. So now what we've got is the part here and there's a 2D mesh on here. So it's not 3D tets. Okay, they're just on the surface. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and create another component. Okay, and that I'm going to call it my tets. And that's where my 3D tets are going to go. If I look down here, that's my current component. Okay, so now we can go to 3D, Tetra Mesh, and Elements. We're going to choose are those displayed, and Mesh. Okay, so we're back, and it has meshed now. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off this, and we're left with these 3D elements here and so to see that we can go to F5 for mask shift draw a little window mask and we can see here that we do have a tetra mesh drill bit very cool we'll do unmask all go up here zoom all and there it is so we think we're done we think everything's great let's go to tool check elements Tet Collapse under 3D. And we see that we had 133 of them failed. We set a criteria for 0.3. It's a little aggressive. 0.1 would work, but we're going to leave it as 0.3. We see down here our worst one is 0 0.03. So it's some really bad elements. Uh, we have it under a sign plot. We can either use standard or we can do a sign plot. Okay, either way. Okay, let's hit Tet Collapse again, and we see where they are. Okay, we've got some up at the tip here, on the edges, and in this part right in here. Okay, so we've got some problems. We can go in and fix them. We're going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to go ahead and delete right now all the elements. Okay, so if we turn on no elements, let's turn on our geometry again. So now what I want to do, return. let's go ahead and fix up the geometry. Okay, and if we look in here on the geometry, we can see on this model, let's do the display, let's turn off the shared edges for a minute. And you can see in the model there's some little edges here that are going to come out, you know, they go down into small little bits. They're just going to be problematic. And there's a little bit of a double edge, a little bit of an edge on here. All right, and we're just going to remove that edge. We can see it split in here. We'll probably remove that and this part in here. Okay, so if your lines aren't showing, just click on Shared under this little bit Visualization Options, and then click on shared and you can see these edges on here so we're going to go ahead and suppress a lot of them so it's going to take oh, a good five minutes so 
bear with me or skip ahead five minutes. So let's go under Geometry, Edge Edit. We're going to basically toggle a bunch of lines and then see what happens. So I'm just going to start clicking on some of these lines. I'm just going to leave the main ones. Okay, so if I zoom in here, if you want to follow along with me, let's see where those little problem areas were. All right, I can see where they are right in here. All right, so I'm going to suppress these lines. Okay, I'm just going to leave the main line. So remember, there's two of those little sections. Let's go and clean up the next. And like I say, it's going to take about five minutes. If you want to follow along, you can, or you can skip ahead. But I think this works out really cool, and you'll be happy with this. All right, so we've got those. As we go around, there's a little edge right in here. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to follow that along and get rid of that little second bit. done you can see a model that's cleaned up and just looks a lot better again this is part of that double edge that was in there bottom of that it's almost looking good and we got a few more here to clean up and hopefully your efforts will pay off and if, if you load this little model you can follow along and it's a good practice in suppressing or toggling lines okay we're almost there think your efforts are going to pay off if you do this. Oops, where we, are we? There we go. Okay, that looks pretty good, I think. All right, we hit return, and we can see our file now looks a lot, a lot. Uh, cleaner I guess that's the word okay so there it is let's go back to the model view over here okay so all we've done is we've suppressed a lot of the lines on here and get rid of some of the edges so we've cleaned up so it got rid of these lines that were on here so it won't force a break in the elements there okay so now we us go under 3d tetra mesh we're going to do a volume tetra and we'll pick surfaces and notice it does the whole surface that means it is enclosed and I have an element size of one with a minimum curvature and proximity are on let's go ahead and mesh this now my active element or my active component is 
this one we made up called Tets. The reason I want to put it in a separate one, if I leave it under the main one, then if I have uh, 2D elements, I have to actually delete them before I run the models. This will just keep them separate. If I want to move them later, I can use the uh, organizer and copy them over. Anyways, let's go ahead and mesh this. Okay, now it's resumed. It, I paused that it. it's done. Let's turn our, I don't see any elements. Let's turn this back on. All right, let's turn these other others off. And once again, it's meshed. Is it any better? First of all, let's hit return. Let's do a masking F5 shift drag a window mask and yep yeah, okay those are the 3d the 3d tets are the blue ones let's unmask all return there's our bit let's see if it's any better how do we do that go to tool check elements we're going to leave it at 0.3 let's do a tet collapse okay so we went from what is a hundred and some odd failed to two and our minimum collapse is 0.29 that's almost perfect you can go and fix those two if you want or that's just really really nice 